Something in my brain causes stress So come and make me feel different You wanna hold Hi guys, it's a different day So I recorded a video introducing the vlog And also giving you some updates But unfortunately deleted it By mistake, when I edited and realized I don't have that clip so this is me introducing myself once more if you're new here hi welcome to this channel we are authentically ourselves over here we talk about everything related to living alone lifestyle content uh, being in your 20s and just doing this thing called life let me first start off by um i don't even know where to start <laughs> I can more tupa ni more tupa. I know, I know, but I'm hoping that um, things will be smooth and uh, consistent moving forward. It's just that, and I feel I give this excuse a lot. When my business needs me a lot, I tend to shut off kilakitu and focus solely on my business. So um, I figured since now I have help i have a new colleague i have a tailor things have been uh kidogo smoother than they were uh, at the end of the year and also at the beginning of the year so i'm hoping to be consistent over here but i also wanted to let you know that uh content moving forward will be more so about my business like trying to build it to where i see like the vision i have so if you are into that, please stick by and watch as we see where Kairetu goes, Kairetu's Apparel in Kisiani also. I have a business called Kairetu, Kairetu's Apparel, we make uh, made in Kenya pieces and also thrift pieces for resale. So there'll be a lot of that, but also I manage that content, exciting content like um, just lifestyle, new hobbies, goal settings money dating won't be friendships would be in the vlogs um of course i'll share that with you as i've always been doing please feel free to add on things you'd like to see more of qua uh, this channel also there's a lot a lot of updates that i can't contain in this one vlog there's a lot there's a lot exciting things happened over that break that i took and i'm going to share with you pole pole too as we continue like uh, updating each other on what has been happening in our lives example i have a new workshop a small workshop with no tailor but now i have a, a bigger workshop with a tailor and we are hoping to expand soon to tiny tiny updates i feel like i'll just be updating you as we uh continue watching the vlogs so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video please if you do share it with a friend uh also don't forget to like it and now let's get into the vlog guys we got a car in case you haven't seen that on IG, yes, we have a car now and I'm going to do an exclusive video in regards to me purchasing a car, my first car. So, um, be sure to check that out when it comes out. I haven't driven my car since Friday, which was Easter Friday. And on Thursday, Nilikon me peleka Oshwe. And I'm just now noticing that I'm missing one of the foot pads, the passenger. And at a CND workshop first, I'm just going to head to the car wash that um, I went to. I don't mind my shoes over there, but the mats that's usually here, just like the one that is at the driver's. And yes, my car looks dirty, but imagine at Ilyosha on <laughs> on Thursday, oh my god. Mate <sighs> Jonekana. But I have to leave and go get materials and also uh, see if the workshop is open. Kama Taylor Mefika. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my little workshop. We're not yet done. 
I have a few trousers that um, zimeka sana kwa shop so I want them to be reduced to shorts that's what I do for my dead stock I usually get questions on what I do to my dead stock so for pants that's what I usually do so I'm just going to leave um, the trousers here and then also call the tailor and tell him what to do with them guys there's a podcast I've been loving and I listen to it while I'm driving I'm going to put you guys on on it mm, it's called something clinic fashion brand clinic podcast so if you are into fashion if you're into fashion business i'd highly highly recommend the podcast it gives you like marketing tips it features some of the like well-known brand owners fashion brand owners so if you have a minute or so or if you're checking out new podcasts to listen to i'd highly recommend that one <laughs> Welcome to another episode of the Fashion Brand with me and the Style. I got uh, the materials. There they are. This is the first time actually I'm buying a roll. It's not like full roll, but it's quite something. Uh, I bought the grey one and then I bought also the black one because those are the two colors that are in demand and people are scared to shock me because just the other day beige and nanganganiwa right now it's black and uh, and grey and also something sick one there that I'm excited to do today is get sampled from uh what's launching next month so i decided to be launching something new every month at the shop so that is um either something along the line maybe semi come and say i have parachute set so um, maybe i start parachute skirts um uh, i introduce a color a different color to the parachute line so um, yeah i'm excited for that so for next uh, month i've already started not next month this month actually because the april i've started uh, i've started um I've, i'm finishing up on samples and last month we introduced gray which is um, quite in demand that's why i bought the gray material so right now it's quite early i think it's 10. Mm, i'm going to gikomba to get sweaters i hope i get sweaters like nice nice sweaters i don't know if i'll go to the pants part i think if you don't know gikomba is quite huge see at the two zotes in akwanga the same area so na jam tenda kwa nini kwa kwa sweaters but siko sure tenda kwa pants yeah but let's see how it goes i need to get back home early today so that the tailor at least akate Ngozenyeziko already ordered. Ooh, it's so hot. It's currently 12.45. I'm done with thrifting. I got a couple of sweaters. I only needed like 10. 10 and above and I got those. So we headed to my tailor. Kona sample the what's coming in april and then we go home and then i'll probably post sweaters today i don't know Guys, it's around 8 30. Saying you want to talk a workshop. Um, we've done cutting for parachute set that should be ready by Thursday, and then also. Oh, what have I done? Oh, Nime Katisha, the trousers. So tomorrow I'll be posting them. 
and uh, see how that goes i think i have never mentioned by the way why i still do thrifting and also custom made i feel like it's because um custom making products is quite expensive that's why even the price is quite high as compared to uh, thrift finds of course so the thrifting funds the custom made uh, to some extent but actually the zen ilikwaniache thrifting and purposely focus on custom mids but uh that will be hard because uh thrifting to to fund here like a lot of projects here at kairetu honestly i don't know what the future holds if we are going to thrift for the rest of our lives here at kairetu's but i'm really excited for the fact that every month this year i've been producing new products i've been like introducing new products that are custom made and people have been loving them spending a lot of time on tiktok and uh -huh. the songs that are trending the one that i was singing uh -huh. one of those trending right now uh -huh. please take oh please don't take these beautiful things that are <laughs> i'm not sure about the lyrics this is my outfit of the day I'm trying to look for my lip balm but I can't find it I'm sure it's in my bag but this is what I'm wearing a sweater and this office pants we stock this Kairetu. we also started stocking sweaters because it's raining and the sweaters I get are usually so cute so I decided to add them for shop and people loved them so we stock uh, sweaters and such pants yeah that's my fit for the day i'm going to source material uh, the sample you remember the sample i showed you guys well the material sick with penda sana so i'm going to look for an alternative material to create the product that i want to launch this month and also uh i'll be passing by the workshop to drop the shots but they all the shots sold <laughs> all the shots sold and then also i'll be going to town to get a few um things like one skincare um i need to stock up whatever i'm using for my face and then also there's there was a return that i'm going to pick today and i need to list everything down because my joint is now but those ones those two and i feel like i'm forgetting something <laughs> guys i'm done with not not really done but what's needed has been bought As for now we are headed to town you stayed the same but if you did i'd still love you anyway So guys, I get my skincare products at Abusto. This is how the shop looks. It's uh, next to Omoja.
just a city of Pakunika. Remember that building in Ilkwana next year green opposite near Quick Mart, actually at the Quick Mart. The prices are fair. Get a subscriber. Hi. Hi guys, I'm Vivian. Hi guys, I'm <laughs> I have an online shop. You guys can follow me um, and check it out. Mana Kitchen where we deal with household items. And we are located on the better in yes, we are on Instagram and Facebook as well. You can check it out. Subscribing to Kaibeto over here. Yes, please subscribe, subscribe. Yes, I think we will put again one. The Mr. and Mrs. Gift. And then I think I also will get this for one of my walls. I think we will have to see this It's on the 5th of April. We usually have meetings, guided to meetings every 5th of the month. So I'm headed to that meeting. And before I head out, I figured I want to show what I got yesterday from our errands. I got a couple of things. First off, I've just packed these ones right now. This is the first thing I got. It require a return I was talking about. Second thing I got is this set. This is uh, the gift that I'm gifting Kuli for her Nika. Nika is uh, same as wedding for Christians. So I got this uh, mug I showed you yesterday. It's written Mr. and Mrs. I thought that is the best gift um, to give them. This is how it looks. I don't have to pack it because it's already packed and I feel like it's presentable enough to gift someone. And then for my house I got two items. Let me show you. I'm a kitchen because I need to clean them. But I got this for milk. For milk this was only 500 bob and they have different uh, styles of decoration so i wanted purposely for milk so that's why i got this if they had like clear i would have opted for that but this is also good enough they had one with strawberries love love i think those would be good for smoothies and juices yeah so i got this at 500 bob and then i also got these it's a sugar dish, a swan sugar dish. I thought it was so cute. And my dining table in Nakwan Maker salt shaker silver. That's why I chose a swan that's silver. Yeah, this was 1000 bob. And yeah, nearly feel you need to some more, but it's honestly so worth it. It's so so cute. And then from a Bosto, I got um two products they were actually on sale i hope learn on 5th 6th 7th so this video will go up on 7th so you have time to shop because the sale the 40 percent sale is ending on the 9th and i'd highly recommend if you've been following me on ig you know i've talked about her bosto and how they like help you uh, through your acne journey like they go step by step giving you products that they think um, uh, your skin needs according to the analysis they've made so let me show you what I got first off I got these these are oh, these are <laughs> these are pimple patch I used two of them for two of my pimples I have pimples around my cheeks yeah so I used these this was six or four and then they had the salicylic one, the red one. It's actually from the same company, Nivile 2. One is red, upper, and then this one is black. These are 16 patches for 604. And then I also got a HBHA fauna at uh, 2262. Yep. 
and then uh, some products I needed like the moisturizer because mine is almost done uh, they guided me to change from Ultra Barrier Repairing Cream to a HBHA um, uh, moisturizer because I use the uh, cleanser for HBHA, the green one. The, let me show you. I use this from them also, the Acne uh, Economagi because the Acne one, so they recommended I use the moisturizer for this. So those ones, what I send here. I also work with them, so uh, some products I purchase, some I get from them, from their recommendations. And also if it's an anime buy, they also recommend. So yeah, I'll get these moisturizer replaced and also something else I'm getting from them is niacinamide. I have used niacinamide and anime wanna change. Like my pores are so small as compared to Villa Zilikua, big. Uh, pores. Most of the products is annually in recommend here, ni, uh, containing niacinamide because of that pore problem being huge and also they give analysis for skin before they recommend you the products and it's only 700 bob to get your skin analyzed. So for me, oh my god, did you come and talk about your PDF, but I insert it somewhere here. My skin was in the pits, guys. My skin was in the pits. But I'm in the journey, I'm in the process of making it better. But so far, to uh, Mali. And I want to go in for my analysis probably end of next month, see if kuna improvement because the last the last one I did my skin was thirty four years old. Can you imagine? I'm not even thirty years old. Niko karibu like ni bado. But it's difficult thirty but my skin was so damaged in Queen Red like that skin is for a thirty four year old guy. So if you want to get your skin analyzed, I'd recommend a bosto. Wako apo karibu na umoja, malin duanyesha. Can, you can get your skin analyzed at only 700 bob. So the meeting is at 1.30. I need to be heading out. And I'll see you guys at the hotel that we choose. Because I had to do to end up meet Wapi. Because most of the um, restaurants around, cafes around, these are Muslims. And Muslims are Oko Ramadan. So, yeah. Also, it's so interesting that uh, I have a lot of interactions with Muslims and uh, I feel like I'm learning so much from that other side. Let me show you my full outfit before I head out. Guys, these pants, imagine, these pants were the first um, parachute sample. As you can see, the pockets are kidogo different, kidogo different, upper in the elastic. And also upper chin is a bit different. It has like elastic thingy that enables you to adjust accordingly. But in is sample yangu ya kwanza when making the parachutes. And guys, people don't talk about the money you spend on samples. Like before we got to the actual parachute pants that we wanted to launch, hey, to, to me a person, and that's how I'm feeling with April's product. Also, uh, parachute top actually it to me like a lot of money. I just came into the workshop, showed my tailor the design I want, and we were already in production. It uh, didn't take us like so long. Need a few adjustments and then we got it right. But for the pants, it took some time, and also whatever is launching this month, I feel it to take a lot of time since December. Actually, since December, I have been working on it. In a tokea sipendi material, any tunatumia sipendi. But I'm hoping like this time round we get it and launch it in April. So be sure to check Kairetu out so that you do not miss on the new things coming your way. Let's head out now. Is the full day yet? I'll add this trench coat because Kunanyesha in Nairobi. And it matches well with the top, I feel like. So today it's a brown and black color.
kind of day. Rob and the kind of guy who looks in like a ribbon. <laughs> I'm into ribbons. I'm into ribbons. Just like every other girly. Yeah. A little nonsense is what I need. Now if you want to get the best of me. Finish up on a few things and then call it a day. 